Welcome back to Split Second. We're on episode 11 of 12, One Last Push, even though it's not quite the last push. The penultimate push. The penultimate push. Coming up today in the last thrilling Split Second. Pretty sure that was a uh, Lemony Snicket book. That actually does sound like a Lemony Snicket novel. God, this intro is awesome. <laughs> I know. I I love how like all the cars look fancier now too. Like in the beginning they didn't have the same cars. You know, no car in this game is really shitty, but they had a they had a couple like early game cars. Like that one, the Elite Race, that's actually the Cobretti 455 GT. Oh, you mean you don't unlock the uh, Toyota Corolla? Unfortunately, there are no cars in this game that go faster with Eurobeat. But we did unlock one new car. This is the Titan that we got. It's pretty cool. I love that car already. Actually, we unlocked a couple of them. This is the Cyclone RS. It's very fast. Vroom. Yes, very much vroom. It's also rear-wheel drive. So it's kind of interesting with how much power it's got. Yeah. And this thing. <laughs> oh my god. We need to put a, just put a weapon on that thing. The biggest, baddest truck in split second. I like that it's the only car that comes with two spare tires. It really does. That's actually a bit the designers took off of the VW Touareg. There was a car named the Touareg? Well, it's it's a, it's a German word, I think. Oh, that's, that's less humorous. Yeah, car people in the thread, uh, correct me on that one, but I think, I think it's German. Anyway, we're uh, we're not quite going to start off with the Goliath yet. We're going to start off with the Cyclone RS. Oh, uh, the little room. Yeah, the little room. Though it makes <laughs> a big room if you go really fast. Also, everybody else at this level has a Cyclone. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Look at all the spoilers. I know. No, literally, the field in this first race is like six Cyclones and one other car. Wow. Uh, so many spoilers, it looks like the last episode of Game of Thrones. Hey. Hey. I got there, eventually. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you're <laughs> enjoying Game of Thrones, Turtle. I am. I like the, um, the fat one. The who? The fat one. There's a fat one. I know that much. Which one? <laughs> uh, there's a fat Game of Thrones character. He's, uh... See, you're really putting those hours in watching it turn <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think his name is Hamroll. <laughs> or something like that. No. No. His nickname was the Fighting Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see me fighting the Cyclone a little bit. It's This is actually the part of Power Plant that we raced this car on in the Detonator event in Episode 6, which was the mid-season spectacular. The Cyclone has a really nasty habit of, like, it will grip. It will grip really hard, and it will just all of a sudden break loose because it's decided it's had enough and wants to kill you. <laughs> well, that's... You'll see it happen here a couple times, actually. I'm not great at driving the Cyclone. Was he running his back wheel into your into the nose of your car, or were you running your nose into the back wheel of his car? Yes. A little bit of both. Oh, you have this huge power play and no one to play it on. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Well, you could barely see the guy. I was actually really surprised when his little button came up because I was like, there's no way I'm going to catch him before I get out of the sewer. Yeah, that was tiny. It really was. Fortunately, the dump truck has a pretty big area of effect, but its hitbox is kind of finicky. So it's just one of those things you deal with. You have a little bit more leeway with the hitboxes whenever the other cars that are driving are like tiny and weak like the Cyclone. Cyclone is kind of in that area of cars that has like a 2 out of 10 in strength. Have you ever noticed that Sheik and Zelda have never been in the same race together? Oh my god, they're the same person! <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying oh my god because of how delightfully squish your car just went. 
Oh, yeah. No, I actually thought I was going to dodge that. I was really surprised because I didn't see that I was, like, in hitbox territory. But, nope, I guess it just decided that I was going to die. Fortunately, it didn't wreck us out bad enough that What's-His-Face could pass us. Callisto, I think it was. Which, by the way, is an awesome name. Yeah, that's probably going to be my firstborn's name. If you couldn't, that would be great. If I couldn't? Also, Thread, we can't let Turtle breed. <laughs> so let's go on to using the Titan. It's Please pretty do. neat. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I thought for a little while about maybe not using the Titan, but we're going to use the Titan. I mean, it's called the Titan. How come no cars have come out today and called the Titan? There is one. It's a Nissan. Oh, I want a, I want a Nissan Titan. You can get one. They're in production right now. Does it come with like a tank head already attached or is that aftermarket? No, but it comes with a big ass engine. They're so tight compared to you. And they're like little <laughs> toy cars. <laughs> and it drifts. <laughs> Watching that thing drift is hilarious. Well, I'll be doing a lot of that. The Titan is weird. The Titan is basically what you would be like if you took a muscle car and added like 4,000 pounds to it. <laughs> Uh, Unfortunately, it means I have to fight this car. It will it will take about a second or something before like it actually turns. Yeah, I'm noticing that it's uh, um, let's say um, <laughs> on the upside that doesn't bother me. <laughs> no, it it fell right next to you. Yeah. How do you not just race in this thing the entire game? Because it's slow, and I really don't like driving it. <laughs> but it looks like so much fun. Yeah, let's do some back-to-back -back grips. <laughs> it's like you have God Boat on. Yeah, not quite. It's definitely not fast. <laughs> but it tries. <laughs> My favorite part is watching all the cars, like, next to you just zooming by and then getting exploded. Yeah, there's always something to explode, so it kind of works out. Yeah. <laughs> nope, totally fine. <laughs> oh, that was amazing! So I'm trying to build up my power meter here. <laughs> you hit that wall. Yeah, survive that too. <laughs> It's back and it wants you! <laughs> yes! Do you remember way back in episode one when you asked me why I dropped an airplane on myself and I said I didn't do it? Yes! Well, that's how you do it. You literally cannot drop the airplane on people unless you're literally on that straight and there are people going onto the tarmac. So you have to be really far back. But it's cool because it's like one of the best power plays in the game. The Titan makes it a completely it makes it a lot more Mario Kart than I think the developers intended. <laughs> I don't try and cut through the airplane because I know that'll blow up. It's really like the gas station. I treat it as such. But what do I know? I've been burned by the gas stations like ten times on this show. Um, you missed the piece of shrapnel that was just flying in air over your car for a couple seconds in the top left corner. What, you think that's gonna stop me? I like that you're drifting, but like, the car's not really doing what I would call a drift. No, it's got more of a power slide, but this car does handle like it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, Buffy, you're not stopping me. 
there was a real danger if that guy like speeding past you in that last second wasn't there. Well, he did actually speed past me. I just oh, I just managed to get the barrel off him before <laughs> he won. We can stop the LP now. <laughs> Yeah, so it turned out okay. There are some weird things with the way that the game does wreck out. So if you wreck somebody out, then for the purposes of the position meter, it will count where the car was until it responds when it got wrecked. So like the moment I passed where that guy was when he got wrecked, I was considered first place. And this actually does become important when you're trying to race to the end. But mostly it's just kind of a funny thing. It really tends to screw with things like Zero to Hero where you have to wreck out everybody in the field, because as long as you pass where the first place guy was before everybody respawns, and you can get the achievement, but that doesn't always happen. So, I made it look like I was going to go for the Titan for this survival event, but nope, it's going to be the Cyclone again. A little bit of weirdness about this particular run. I actually had the whole episode recorded and rendered, and then I talked to you and a bunch of other people, and then I remembered that you said in episode 10 that you thought it was more fun yeah. if I do sudden death survival, so here it is. And the Cyclone is fantastic for this, because the Cyclone grips more than anything else in the game, which I guess is not saying much at this level, because, you know, it'll still bite me like that, but... Yeah. For the most part, no, it's it's lean and it's low, and I can just kind of do this. This is awesome. This particular back straight is really, really bad on downtown circuit. And the reason for that is that the trucks can line up when you're trying to pass them in such a way that you are trying to dodge barrels from the car in front of you while you're trying to pass the other truck. Oh, okay. You also end up with a little bit of weirdness like when I hit that truck. Yeah. If you're not careful, the truck will sandwich you in the wall and end your run, which obviously is really bad when one hit Ooh. and one wreck of any kind will take you out. So I do shoot the gap a couple times like that. Wow. The best advice I can give to anybody who's trying to do this is twofold. Number one, pick a car that can actually grip, and number two, drive fearless. I have fearless, like Nike. I mean, I got the badge for fearless. Hey. I do manage to save at that time. <laughs> oh, Bumble Bro, why? Yeah, that Bumble Bro was actually a total bro and like kind of tanked that for me. Let's shoot that gap again. What nice cars. Oh. There's a real danger when you're doing survival in the Cyclone. And the reason for that is because the Cyclone has very little strength, even though all the Bumble Bros have crash physics enabled where they kind of corpse even when they're driving, so they're not as heavy as they would be if they were actual competitors, they will still hurt you and they will still get on your line and mess you up. I really try hard not to hit them. Not to mention if I hit them, it kind of can prevent them from, like, tanking explosions for me, so that's not good. Well, I tried not to hit bumblebees in real life. Well, you For similar reasons. You'd have a very hard time hitting a bumblebee. You really have to get the, the punching down. Bumblebees must have some ridiculous AC. I think they have a, I think they have a THAC zero. It depends on what edition. I mean, they must have the plus eight for being tiny. Sorry, fine. Tiny is a plus four. <laughs> for being fine. Them bubblebees fine. Dang it, now I have to look that up. I haven't done three five in a long time. <laughs> I thought about going for that cut through the dam. Oh, you almost... But no. That was some good split-second decision-making. 
I'll tell you what, I've gotten a lot faster at making decisions <laughs> since I started playing yeah. this game. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I just barely managed to save it, but the physics were such that it turned me around. <laughs> Just some great yeah. physics from Split Second. <laughs> I stand by that. That was a good save. <laughs> yeah. No, that was awesome. Nobody takes first place for me. <laughs> uh, I want to race on one of these Split Second tracks, but like where... So like the... What do they call the events where everything's blowing up? Like every hazard's activated? The detonators. I want to race on a detonator event. Well, I mean, if you join the official split second something awful spectacular, or I don't know if that's what we're going to call it. You're going to call it the SAS? Yeah, and that was another bad situation. The cyclone was trying to break loose, and I was like, oh shit, okay, I can't let it break loose, because I'm just going to go into the wall. So I counter-steered out of it, and then I counter-steered myself right into the wall, because it didn't break loose. I don't know if we, if I asked this before, and if I did, sorry, Thread, but, uh, are you playing with a steering wheel? That's the third time you've asked that question, and no, I'm not. I'm playing on a 360 controller. Oh, it's only the third time? Well, it's the penultimate episode, so we've got, a. Uh... We've got room for one more. We're going to hit all the hits. It's going to be like a clip show. I would like to say that you have asked me that question in episode 0, episode 1, episode 8, episode 11. No, sorry, you didn't ask me that question in episode 1. But you have asked at least those three times. I just, the way the car moves, I feel like you're gear shifting. Well, that's because Split Second does a fantastic job of giving the cars real weight. Yeah. Also, that was ridiculously close. <laughs> I'm very surprised he was the one who ended up wiped out there. Yeah. Yeah, let's just solve that danger problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know oh, why I blew up here. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe, like, with one second left, the other CPU, like, set off the Bobcat. Yeah. Yeah, and so it just hit me, but you couldn't tell because of the angle. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> I liked watching the wreck out in, like, black and white in the, like, end of game filter. Yeah, with the triumphant split-second music playing over yeah. the background. <laughs> Hmm, what car do I want to use? Yes. Wait, is this for the, this isn't for the elite race, is it? No. Oh, survival. Oh, this is the perfect one for this. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but you might be a little tiny bit disappointed. <laughs> Why? Oh. So let's just stop next to this this sign here. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> I happened to catch that while I was doing the recording for this episode. I was like, I've got to feature that. Because <laughs> it happens right at the beginning of where you spawn. That's amazing. Look, it's, it's very important that we obey the rules of the road. So I have slowed oh, down. And now that I've done that, I'm going to race like a madman. Did you see how close that was? I know. One of the great things about the Cyclone RS for survival is that its hitbox is actually really small. Yeah. You can just duck under stuff. It's great. I really wish I was in the split-second sound booth, how they, like, pulled in. Because I can, when I hear the barrels hit the ground, I know for a fact that's a steel drum. Yeah, you're right, it does sound like a steel drum. And I want to be in there for when they were, like, banging away on the drum, looking for the right notes for this. Yeah, I would love to hear what the thoughts are of people who actually developed Split Second and did all the mixing for it would have to say about the game and their experience with it. 
because the mixing in this game overall has some some weak spots like like the tutorial you know yeah. the obvious voiceover that wasn't supposed to be there and wasn't balanced for the rest of the game <laughs> for the most part the rest of it is really good it emphasizes all the things that are important like explosions and trucks Yeah, it's okay. You can't do the too fast, too furious thing where you get caught under the truck and then get crushed. Oh, I was really hoping that you could go under the truck if you really needed to. This is not one of those games where you can do that. Though in the cyclone it might be possible because this thing is really low to the ground. Do you know what game you can go under the truck in? Need for Speed Most Wanted. And Sonic 06. Can you do it in Sonic 06? Uh, it's a train, but yeah. Oh yeah, the radical train. <laughs> yeah, it's a radical train, man. I'll tell you what, it got a lot less radical when we hit the mock speed section. <laughs> no, I actually did not enjoy that part. I don't think anybody enjoyed that part. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love that game, but that was definitely a low note. Oh yeah, I threw this in there too. So remember why I was telling you about the car being able to crush you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just not even gonna deal with that. <laughs> so let's just go on to the elite race. All right. And it's in Canyon too, so that's pretty cool. I love Canyon. <gasps> You did use it for the elite race! Of course I use it for the elite race. We have to look the part. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You are so slow. <laughs> yeah, you'll see what this car can do. Oh my gosh. This is the only car in the game that has a 10 out of 10 in strength. <laughs> it also has like a 9 out of 10 in top speed. <laughs> what? Look, you have to go a really long way. <laughs> also, I have no idea what happened to Rick. He just, like, phased off the dam. Uh, he had to go home. His planet needed him. I guess so. <laughs> looks like your car got a light push. Yeah, that cliff doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> it didn't bother me, but I did hit it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love the Goliath. It's so good. <laughs> I just love this car, man. The Goliath is weird. I talked about my little write-up for how the car handles, because I always do one of those whenever we unlock a new car. The Goliath basically handles like a four-door luxury car. It's big and it's heavy and it is planted and it takes like an age to turn, but it also drifts surprisingly well and it handles like a rear wheel drive car. It doesn't handle like a Jeep. No. Which means that I can drift it like this and I can drift it with some proficiency. Yeah, it's not a power slide as much as the, uh, as the Titan was. No, it's a genuine drift. Nope. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> oh. To quote this game's blurb, nothing will bother you in this car. Not explosions, <laughs> not other cars, not the end of the world. That jump is really weird. It's something about the physics of the jump. Every time I land on it, at least in the Goliath, it seems to... Yeah, I'm oh, not doing that. man. I tried really hard. But that yeah. particular jump is weird. I don't know if that's one of my tires getting caught on something. Also, the Goliath survives this. And Rig <laughs> fails to survive that. I'm totally counting that for the body count, by the way. 
Of course. I've started to notice when you're skipping a bunch of power plays because I know that means a good one's gonna go come up soon. Like that. When you get into the really fast events, you have to pick and choose your power plays really carefully. Oh, this car is awesome, dude. I love the Goliath. I want one of these in real life. I acknowledge that it's total garbage, but I love it. Like, the fuel efficiency can't be great. No, it probably gets about eight gallons to the mile. <laughs> you can probably get one by getting a late model Jeep Grand Cherokee. Well, I also want to be able to bully other cars on the freeway with it, so probably be best if I don't. Well, there are plenty of freeways in split seconds, so do your bullying there. <laughs> I have to warn you though, this car's really bad for expressway. Hey, you made it! I did finally make this one. And now what awful thing are we gonna do to this car in front of us? Well, I haven't decided yet. Nah, I totally decided. <laughs> Poor Raptor. Look, I'm never going to get tired of blowing up Raptor in hilarious <laughs> ways. But the hammer... <laughs> ...is kind of giving me a run for my money. But we can just kind of oh, bury him man. in the wall and then we're fine. Oh, that's cheating. Isn't dropping a dam on people cheating? Isn't throwing um... a canyon at people cheating? I think it depends- Isn't swinging a crane at people cheating? No. No, the crane's definitely not cheating. Definitely not cheating. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Specifically the crane. I didn't cheat. I misinterpreted the rules. <laughs> oh my god. We misinterpreted our way into this thing. Is this the last car you unlock? The Hanzo FX 350? No, it's just the only one we unlock in this chapter. This is it. The wait is over. Everything we've been leading Don't up miss to. The television event of the year. The television event of the year. The season finale <laughs> of Split Second. I cannot wait for the season finale. It's a pretty great finale, all things considered. I, I heard Amaral's gonna be starring in that one. Let's hope not. Ah, out with a bang! Out with a bang. Haven't decided yet if it's gonna be the last bang.